often been asked, how good do the Stonemaker walls last? And really, I mean, do they just, they look good, but are they gonna fall apart and disintegrate? And of course, we're here to tell you, <laughs> of course not. We know that our concrete goes to 3280 in 24 hours, but does it go any further? And we know that our testings bring it up to seven and 8,000 PSI. But how does, it, how does it last and how much, you know, people are always concerned about air entrainment. Most of the time you put a 2% air entrainment. Our wall builder gives this eight to 9% air entrainment. So that's why the wall builder is such an incredible product. So yes, there's other products that make things, uh, you know, that are, that are plasticizers, or which ours is not a plasticizer, but it brings a uh, at water, water reducing admixture. But ours is more than that. There's so much more than that. And so let's see how the walls really uh, react to the w winter time. And you can look here, this wall is almost five years old. As you can see, I have no, I have a little efflorescence here, as most concrete does have that. But you look at the color, stays pretty good, man. It might have faded a little bit. Uh, I have pictures from this when we first installed it. But you see here, you can't find a crack in this wall. I mean, you can go all the way down the wall and you cannot find a crack in the whole thing. And so that, that's really phenomenal, especially when you're stretching concrete out almost 70 feet from up there all the way down here. So if I bring, if you go down here, I'm looking, I'm looking inside the crevices. Now, if it were to crack, it would probably crack in between the, the control, these, these control joints in here. But I got moss growing in here. I got, you know, it, it gives, it's just like real effect. But you go all the way down to the bottom of the wall and uh, here's the bottom. And look, it just, it just really ends up nice. There's no color difference and there's real rock down there. Here's our concrete. So let's go up to the top and look at the, the larger wall. Now he has uh, my customer, Ed here. Ed was a good guy, he was an insurance guy. I just died this last fall, but I went up and talked to his wife. She's amazing, great customer. And uh, we came out and knocked on their door actually. And uh, this was just all wood. And we have a video, still make a video. We had our crew come in and actually uh, uh, show how we did this wall. But, and let's go to colors. You know, after a while you think that colors would really fade, especially after five years, you think you'd have a real color fading. But real, I have you know, still got that granite look in here that real earth tone. As you can bring the across here, I got a little bit of efflorescence here, which is easily, to, you, know, you can take that off pretty easily. You can actually get sandpaper, take that off pretty fast. But uh, all in here, the walls look as natural, as good, all the way up to the steps. Now the steps, uh, now they don't usually, they don't, they, use the, the, they don't use the steps, but they were, we always say don't put salt uh, because of course it's concrete. So if you put salt in there, it's gonna break it down. Did it my house, has done it. Anybody that does that, that's what's gonna happen. Put a color on here, but it's not the same color as we use here. The Stonemaker color, I did not use the same color here. And there's reasons for that. This, I use a more of a cured color. I try to use integral color. There's other things that we do and use as that. We do have a, a, a par partial crack here, but this was crack was here from the very beginning when we first put it in. And it's not a crack or structural crack, it's just a, a parching crack that came across here when they added a little bit more concrete. When they added a little more concrete, it was just kind of a parched crack. But that's been here since we started. But you look along the whole thing here, I have really no, no visible signs of cracks. And uh, it looks pretty good. So there you have it, Stonemaker walls. I think we're almost five foot high here. Uh, we didn't get engineers. There was no engineering permit plans, nothing like this. Here in Bedford, New Hampshire, you got to once you get to six feet, that's where you got to do it. So I could have done a wall all the way up to the top, but we made two levels: two footer up there, two and a half footer, and a five foot here. So we're over six foot, but because we brought it back, we don't need any permitting on it. Uh, this was done probably in the middle of summertime, and uh, we carved it. It, it. it started to go a little bit because it was kind of hot. Well, we still had plenty of time to carve it and texture it. And man, it came out sweet and it still looks just amazing. Happy customers. Uh, you know, I get stuff, some people on the internet, oh, that stuff's breaking down. And my, I don't know who you are that your, your wall's breaking down. If it was done right, then it's going to stay right. And that's all. I have people like Homeland Security from the B2 base down in, uh, in Missouri who are using our product, that have used our product. We've actually demonstrated the product to them because they were so amazed about how we did it. They wanted to see a wall done with no forms. Remember, even my architects uh, that look at this, they say, well, yes, we'll engineer it, but uh, you know, show us the form. And they're looking for forms and stuff like that. This was no forms. The minute a lot of engineers had seen this without forms, they didn't want anything to do with it because they didn't understand it. This is, yes, a, a new way to do it, but we've been doing this now for 12 years, 15 years. 
and it's it works awesome and now it's kind of got around and all their dealers uh, close to a thousand dealers worldwide with stonemakers and it has just uh, increased and increased do we have a lot of guys that don't do a good job with this absolutely but yet we have a lot of guys that get this and do it really good I have some amazing carvers that have gotten this and taken it far beyond what I could have and so I wanted to show a little bit on the durability and how amazing this product is so let's go look at some more walls Okay, we're at another project that was done almost nine years ago, and uh, you think the color would all fade off and come off, and, and if you look over here, the color has just stayed really good. Now, the problem we had with this is they had massive amounts of water that come off the top of this big cliff rock, and uh, this is, uh, that's all real rock there, and it comes down and it comes, you can't find any cracks in this wall. And I mean, we get like 20 below down here in, in New Hampshire, 30 below, and it gets pretty nasty. And so all of that water should have already frozen and busted this thing out, but there's not a crack that you can find. Even in the steps that we pour all of this in here, steps go all the way up. But you look at this, we did this all the way up here. Even this one here is concrete. All this is concrete one in here. This is all carved concrete. And uh, it looks great. It looks we got good. up here and we got a grinder. We carved his foundation to look just like the wall. So pretty creative, I think. <laughs> Uh, boy, those are the days of really getting in there and doing that. So there's one of our walls. Let's go see another one and see really how these things last. This one, I haven't, I haven't seen this in uh, almost nine years. Well, there's hundreds of walls that, uh, that we can show you that, and we will show you. But right now, we're going to show you as the evening sets here, we want to show you several walls that we have. This is, this is a wall that I installed at my house and it's almost been uh, close to 11, maybe 12 years. And you can see, has some of the color faded off very little here's the, the only rock I see real has you've had faded color and this is after 11 years and it's really not with the color that we even use now this was a different type of coloring process I had but it's real close very little efflorescence although you got snow and ice and uh, actually the the house is draining all up in here this continues to get water and uh, you can't I say well you can't find a crack I will tell you there is a crack in this wall okay and it's right over here it's not here. Here it is, right here. So see the crack in here? And there is a crack in the wall. This is a stonemaker wall that has a crack in it. Oh my goodness. So here it is, right there. All the way down here after 11 years. <clears throat> now, is there any other cracks? No, there's not. That's it. And you can see here, look at the look at the colors on here. This has not been recolored. I didn't recolor. As you can tell, I haven't. You can see the, the mold and the moss, not the mold, mold, but the moss growing in between here. So naturally it has aged and it has antique by itself. And you come back over here, you got all kinds of you know stuff growing here and through it. You can still see the granite effect, how nice it looks. Now I will show you here. <laughs> These are my steps, and I did these steps the same time we did the wall. <clears throat> and these steps, they still have the color on them, but you can see that a lot of the, uh, you know, they've been beat up over the years just with salt being put on them. Uh, you can see the the, the, mold, the moss in between the, the crevices where I carved it and stuff like that. The lights don't work anymore, but you see in my steps here, the colors have stayed, the steps have stayed, but they've acted like any concrete would act if you put salt on them. And we, we have to put salt because there's no way to get it. Uh, so much so it has all the natural uh, green, uh, the moss, look at the thick moss growing in between here. And uh, <laughs> this wall's for 11 years, uh, it's gonna last another 11, 12, or however many years, I think a lot less the house. So if there's any doubt that you think that the walls will not last, those of you guys in Sacramento or in uh, Florida, think again this is in some really brutal cold over here some real and it's not even the cold it's the, the the freeze thaw we get you know a lot of freeze thaw cycles and that's what tears concrete up and that's what really does it that's why air entrainment in concrete is so incredibly necessary and essential and that's what this has eight percent eight percent air entrainment that's a big factor uh, almost 730 yards of concrete we've poured here you're, you you'd be hard pressed to find more than three four cracks in the whole thing and concrete cracks we know that but you're going to see how minimally it cracks with our product